Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a little showcase on this nifty blend file you can get for free over on Gumroad. If you head over to the link in the description below, uh, you will find this Blender Geometry Nodes example hex landscape. I saw this on Reddit originally, uploaded by someone called Matt. They were just practicing with geometry nodes and kind of like the power of it and then put this out so people can dig into kind of the setup of those geometry nodes and learn. Um, and I just think it's a really cool thing to kind of showcase and flag that this is available. You can download this for free or pitch in a little bit of money if you so desire. Uh, it does require Blender 2.93 Alpha or later. Head over to the Blender Experimental Builds, hit download Blender 2.93 Alpha, um, unzip the file and then just run the Blender.exe. And then from within that, you can go to file, open, and then open the download that you've got over here. And what's presented is this very cutesy kind of little scene, but there's a lot to learn from this that I really like, and I think it's definitely worth pointing out. So if we press control space, just to go back into our little, uh, come out of full screen. And so you can see here that this is the grid. This whole grid is powered by, um, this whole thing is powered by just one simple line using arrays and the power of geometry nodes. Uh, this is born. It's just, it's mind blowing. It really is. Uh, you can see the node group down here. Uh, I don't really know what any of it means. You can go in, play with these, trying to figure out like, oh, if I change this, this changes. So that must mean that does this. Uh, it's kind of just a good case of like digging in and trying to like figure out what each node is doing and control of this. And it's a good way to learn geometry nodes. I've not got around to doing that yet. Uh, but you can see that it's sampling these little pieces over here. So if you've got the kind of the grid selected, uh, then we go over to the modifier tab here. Um, you can see there's a couple of different things here. So uh, under the array, uh, we can make the, the grid bigger uh, in one axis. We can make it bigger in the other axis. And it's completely procedural, so just keep on going. Uh, the displacement, that's actually controlling the height of this. So then the height is what, depending on how high the grid is, that's controlling kind of what's showing. So you can see that we can control the strength here and the higher, the higher they go, the kind of the darker green the grass gets, the lower it goes, there's no grass because it's supposed to be like beach. And then obviously it just becomes becomes water. So really, I mean, that's set up quite perfectly. You can just collapse that and not really think about it. And then the main thing that's driving this is this GeoGrid geometry node uh, control here. So with this empty, that's controlling the actual kind of like map generation. So we can, we can move the map with the empty. With the geometry node, we can choose a different seed for the kind of the placement of, um, the little trees and the houses. Boat sparseness controls how many uh, boats are available, like how many boats are appearing. So you can see that they appear on the water. Um, you can take up the sparseness, and that means there won't be any boats. Bring the sparseness all the way down and have lots of boats. If you wanted like a little fishing scene. Uh, the house sparseness is again the same. Do you want it riddled with houses or kind of not not a lot of houses. Tree sparseness, again, self-explanatory. Um, and then the actual models themselves, the trees, the houses, and the boats, they're controlled over here. So um, using this grid, you could go in and we go over to edit mode. Um, just quickly throw a little, uh, Put a little kind of chimney on the boat. Now all the little boats have chimneys. So you could go in and you could control these um, and kind of modify this grid to use your own assets. If you wanted uh, this grass to be a bit more realistic, you could add obviously uh, grass planes onto it. You could put more realistic trees on if you wanted something more realistic. Uh, using this, the house again, put a little chimney on it, why not? So now you can see that fly all of our houses now have little chimneys on them. Um, you, again, with the trees, you can do that. Um, if you wanted, you could change the wood 
you could change all the shaders. So if you wanted something a bit more realistic, you could do that. But yeah, I just thought this was a really powerful kind of little scene. Um, move our empty, kind of get some little houses, little boats. Uh, the shallow depth of field here looks really nice. Yeah, this is all working in Eevee. Just kind of make that pop. So yeah, it's just I just thought this was a really good thing to showcase um, because it's, it's quite useful that you can change these and make a little scene of your own if you wanted to make a map for like a, an overworld D&D kind of game. Um, it's good because you can learn how to do the geo grid stuff using the geometry nodes. Um, you can dig into that and kind of figure out how things are working and maybe learn something about the geometry nodes. Um, one little thing is I love this wood texture. I hadn't, I don't know, I'd never thought about how to do it. Even that, I've learned something. If we go over to the shader tab, if we go over to the shader tab, click the wood. This is how they've made this wood effect color to get this kind of wood grain, like the toy kind of like block wood grain, which I really like. We've got this really nice felt um, texture here. It has a nice kind of variation to it and it gets darker the higher it is. But yeah, all this for the price of zero pounds. I just, I can't, I couldn't believe it. Um, massive thanks to Matt for uploading this and contributing to the amazing Blender community. Uh, and again, the link for this is in the description below. Uh, if you like these styles of videos, like showcasing these community shaders and things, uh, let me know by liking the video and hitting the subscribe button to see more of when I release them. And in the meantime, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.